With the introduction of tools like iMovie for iPhone, it seems like everyone is creating content these days. So let me give you a tip to help your videos stand out from the rest. Let me play back the two clips I have here on the project, and then we'll dive into them. And for a long time, that's what I wanted to do until I started learning more about myself and my passions and my interests. And suddenly, becoming a doctor was less of what I wanted to do and more of what I felt obligated to do. Is we live in a society that doesn't always know what's good for us. We're not necessarily taught all the skills that we need to succeed growing up. No, you don't have to adjust your uh, screen there. Both of those clips are blurred out. You can't really see what's happening. We know we have a female standing up and a male standing up, both giving presentations. The tip I want to provide you here is related to the audio. Most new editors tend to skip over the audio, so make sure to pay attention to the audio. You can definitely go through and adjust the levels and the way maybe the volume level sounds, but try to go deeper into it. Get more control of your audio and the way it sounds. With these two talking heads, essentially, that we have here, I'm going to select the clip and open up the effects browser, which is this button on the right, or you can use the shortcut command 5. Then, on the left column, scroll all the way to the bottom. We have a whole group of audio filters. And this video, I'm going to focus specifically on the voice audio effects category. These effects allow us to manipulate the way someone's voice sounds. So let me add the alien audio effect to the first clip. And then I'm gonna play it back. You should hear this change almost immediately. Her voice is extremely distorted. With most of these audio effects though, you can customize and change this effect so that it's not just the generic alien effect that's built in. Select the clip and open up the inspector, which is the button at the top right here, or you can use the shortcut command 4. Then click on the audio inspector, which is the little speaker here. And then you see here's the alien effect. I could uncheck the box next to alien to hear before and after, and while I'm playing back the clip, I can and even that's what toggle I wanted to that. Do until I started learning more about myself and my passions and my interests and suddenly becoming a doctor. The additional controls that you see here, which if you don't see them, you'll have a button here that says show. When you go on to it on the right side, just click show. And then you can see the different controls available for you. So I could increase or decrease the amount of this alien effect, or I could change the preset and maybe make it sound more like a Martian or a moon cat. And all of these changes, we can see little adjustments happening to the audio waveforms here on the timeline, but you really need to go back and play the clip to hear what the change actually is. Martian is <laughs> almost uh, unrecognizable there. So that's how you add an effect. We can then click on just the name of it and hit the delete key to remove that effect because we don't want the alien uh, <laughs> sound there for her. One that might actually work nicely is the brightness uh, effect, because with this one, it kind of brightens up or, or elevates her voice just a little bit. So let me play it back, and you might not hear a difference, but try to, try to, try to see if you can catch it. And that's what I wanted to do until I started learning more about myself and my passions and my interests, and suddenly becoming a doctor was less of what I wanted to do. And, and if you notice, when I check the box to enable brightness, all of the waveforms that are being drawn here are visually just brought up a little bit. Um, and that's what brightness is doing. It's kind of bringing up her voice a little bit. Maybe it can sound a little bit better, which is uh, subjective, but I, th I think it sounds a little bit better. So we're going to leave that on there. Now, this second clip here, uh, in this case, I this person's talking, but let's say that we need to disguise their voice. We need to make them anonymous. We can do that using the disguise audio uh, effect here. And I'm just going to drag that onto the clip. And if I play it back, it's pretty good uh, right off the bat. It doesn't always know what's good for us. We're not necessarily... And you can see how it really distorts that voice. 
This is a great way if you need to keep someone anonymous to disguise their voice with a built-in effect just by dragging that onto a clip. You can go through on your own time and, and adjust uh, or try out some of these other audio effects that are in there. But really, these are some cool built-in audio filters and effects that you can use to adjust someone's voice. You do have additional controls inside of the inspector. If you click next to, say, compressor or our chorus here, this little button on the right side, this will go through and give you the advanced controls for that specific uh, audio effect. If you are very uh, used to using Logic, the professional audio editing application, a lot of these will look familiar because they are the same uh, effects and filters used from Logic. Um, and that is the tip for today. Definitely subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any additional videos coming forward. If you do have a specific question, don't hesitate. Put it in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And you can always send me an email as well, finalcutprohelp at me.com. Otherwise, everyone have a wonderful rest of your day and keep creating that awesome content.